Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make an amazing and delicious pate recipe. So you can use any kind of liver that you want to for this pate recipe. If you haven't tried pate and you really hate liver, give pate a try because I don't like liver. I don't like it very much at all unless it's hidden in other foods. But this pate recipe is delicious. It's mildly sweet. It has rosemary, thyme, and some other seasonings in it and it just tastes so good. My family absolutely loves it. My husband loves it. And I think you're going to love it too. So give it a whirl. Enjoy. Hey, today we are going to make some liver pate. I'm starting out with one medium onion. Actually, this is a larger onion. It's a yellow onion and I've chopped it up. I'm using one cup of coconut oil, but you can use bacon grease, lard, butter, any other fat that you have that is in a solid form when it is cool will work just fine. So I'm gonna start out with my some coconut oil in my pan to saute my onions. This is one and a half pounds of fresh elk liver. We actually harvested this elk yesterday and this is the liver from that. So I covered this with water and added about a tablespoon of vinegar to it. And it is a beautiful liver, but it is a little bit discolored because of the soaking process overnight. So to my pan of onions, I'm gonna add the thin sliced liver. Then we are gonna cook this all the way through until the onions are caramelized and the liver is cooked through. One and a half tablespoons of rosemary. One tablespoon of thyme. Two to three tablespoons of garlic. I have done three tablespoons of garlic for my recipe. Okay, it's, the liver's not quite cooked through yet, but I wanted to get a good caramelizing. I wanted to get the onions started to caramelize and then I'm gonna mix the liver back in through there, but I just wanted to start getting them browned up. The liver produced a whole lot of juice. So we've got to get that dried out a little bit in there so that the onions can finish their job. And then we will add the seasoning spices. I'm also going to add some salt to taste and some fresh ground pepper to taste. You, we will be enjoying our liver on some fresh baked sourdough bread. So I will link that recipe above. Starting to cook it all through again. I'm gonna add the seasoning and spices and then one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. About a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And to this, I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. up some pepper on top but I wasn't able to film and do that at the same time so this is what we got so I'm just gonna let this saute for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna allow it to cool before I throw it in my food processor the mixture has cooled down a little bit we're gonna add it to our food processor along with a little bit of coconut oil and this is, I have about three quarters of a cup of coconut oil left from the cooking part. So I'm gonna add that in slowly and I'm gonna process this to a nice fine paste.
to scrape down periodically. This is my second scraping. The first one, it was a lot more chunky on the sides. So we scrape down periodically and then resume until it's nice, smooth, and creamy. After about five, let's see, almost 10 minutes of processing, this is about as creamy as I could get it with my food processor. You might be able to get it more creamy with yours. I've got these um, little half pint mason jars I'm gonna fill up. You can freeze this in the freezer um, or it's good in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Enjoy it on your morning sourdough bread or on toast, crackers, whatever you prefer. Share it with your friends for the holidays. It is a delicious, delicious recipe. My whole family absolutely loves it. We will be freezing some of it for ourselves if it doesn't get eaten this week. And then we will be making more for the holidays to share with friends. We have about uh, five and a half more pounds of elk meat to make elk pate with. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and click your notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest recipes from Rouse Rising. Thanks so much guys. Till next time. Bye.